There we go, pick some berries. Not sure how many. I think it's to specify that um, the preserving sugar has actually got pectin in. Pectin makes a jam or a jelly set. Okay. And apples have it in as well and various other things. Right, just use a fork, take berries off the stalk. I need quite a while actually to try and keep all the stalks out of it. Okay. They are so beautiful, aren't they? Mm -mm -mm. Got about two, just over two pound of unwashed berries. Oh, it is, but there's something very satisfying about playing around with berries. Anyway, back to the cooking, stick them in the pot. You half fill it with water. Until they're soft and squishy, so we'll time that. Simmering nicely. While that's boiling, you can just um, wash and prepare your jars. I've just got some nice little jars here. I'll give a few rowan jelly bits as, uh, as um, a present. Um, and what I do, I clean them and, um, and I put them in the microwave because that's the easiest way to sterilise them. Otherwise, just boil them up or put boiling water in them just to make sure they're sterile. I'm not sure if you're supposed to, but I squashed them a bit to get the goodness out. Might make the jelly go cloudy, but... I want all that rowany goodness. So it's been about half an hour. Let's give it five more minutes, maybe. Right, need to sieve it. Actually, that sieve looks too small. I might try the bigger one. Okay. Can I do this? Left hand it. There we go. squash through. Right, well, I've got a pint of pink. Um, apparently you're supposed to put it through muslin, but this sieve is quite uh, small holes, but I have got some muslin. Oh, I've got that. So I think I'll just tip it into that. Right, so we've just got about a pound a uh, pint and a quarter, so I'm going to put uh, more or less a pint, a pound and a quarter to match it. And simmer that until sugar is dissolved. Oh, this is strange. I don't like the berries. They're having a go at that. Must. Why'd you jump? It's in the microwave for a minute or so after washing them. Well, this is sugar is nearly melted, you just slightly hear a crunch. Oh, it's not soft. So, it's, so, what you do now, you put in place a saucer. I haven't got a saucer. So, I've got a dish, you pop that in the freezer for a minute. So whiz up the heat and stir it, because last time it stuck to the bottom and I burnt the uh, gooseberry jam a little bit. Boil it for about 10 minutes. I'll then test it.
see if it's set yet. Do you know what? I'll drag, drag it along to see if it's going to... No, not quite. Should put in these little telltale lines. I'll show you in a minute. That's a scummy bit. It is okay. But you can scoop it off if you like. Hmm. That's quite um, tart. Right. So I don't have a cork now. Let's try again. Let's take a little spoonful. On your cold plate. Test it. Right, at last, it's setting. Look, it's wrinkling. I can't see it so well, but it was, honestly. These aren't, these are earlier ones. So I can pour it into the jars now. I don't know how many pans it's making, I've just got various weird jars. Uh, let me find another small one, I think. Fantastic, thanks for watching. And that's Rowan Jelly Jam.